Hi everyone, this is Megan with the North Carolina Arboretum and I am so excited to walk you all through the new version of our website. So let's head over to ecoexplore.net. As you can see from this homepage, nothing has changed too much. There are still events listed across the state as well as the leaderboard and recent observations. Under locations, you will still find a wide range of hotspots. New ones are added monthly, so make sure you check that out. And our prizes page has not changed as well. Now the badges page looks a little different just because we have trimmed down the number of badges that are available. So right now we just have the botany and wildflower badge. Now where the updates truly shine are on your personal dashboard. So let's log into our Eco Explore account. On your account, you can see the points have been updated. The news posts are still there with relevant information to the field season, but there are these new banners that signify active badges. So if we click on one like the botany badge, this is what a specific badge page looks like. This page is designed solely for the botany badge with the six observations and three out of four challenges needed. The cool thing about this is that you can submit observations like you would normally using that submit observation button, but you can also directly upload them to this specific page. So let's get an observation started. It is the very same way that you have submitted observations in the past, but you're just going to select that image that you'd like to upload. Make sure to ID it if you know that species ID. You can add a description if you want. Designate the date and time that that picture was taken and also mark if it was taken at a hotspot or wherever the location was. Once you've submitted that observation, you can see it pops up under the My Observations tab on your dashboard. And if we go over to the My Badges page, we will see that the Botany Badge now says Continue Working and the observation we just uploaded pops up here. If it has a yellow eye, that means that it is in review and a processor will get to it very soon. The other really awesome thing about this new update is that you no longer have to upload challenges under observations. Instead, these badge pages have designated spots where you can upload each individual challenge. And here you will find that PDF document to download that challenge one content. And we've even included the Intro to Botany video right here if you haven't watched it yet. You can download this PDF and work on it in your free time, but when you're ready to submit that challenge, you're going to select Add File, and you can choose anything from a JPEG to a PDF to a Word document to a PNG file. Once you've selected your work, it will show up loading, and then make sure that you see your challenge pop up. And then don't forget to select Submit Challenge. So going back to my botany page, I can see that my challenge is now in review, just like my observation, and hopefully it will be processed very soon. So it is later in the day and I am checking back on my botany badge to see if anything has been processed. And yes, the observation and challenges have both been approved and I have been awarded the points for them. That green check mark indicates that they are good to go. So I'm going to quickly upload the rest of my observations and challenges to show you what happens when you near the end of completing a badge. Okay, I've uploaded five observations for the botany badge, but I'm gonna show you what happens if you upload an observation that doesn't meet the badge requirements. So this swan is clearly not a plant, but we're gonna see what happens if I accidentally upload it to my botany badge. Now on my botany page, all six observations are here, including my swan, and I have already uploaded the three challenges I need, and that third challenge will become available shortly. Let's check back tomorrow and see if I've earned my botany badge. All right, let's log in and see if those observations and challenges have been approved and processed. And yes, five observations have been approved. That swan observation got kicked out because it didn't meet the requirements. And then I can also see that two of my three challenges have been approved. So I didn't tell y'all yesterday, but I accidentally uploaded the ornithology challenge too in this place. So it was the wrong challenge. This red X means that 
it was rejected and that I am able to resubmit my work. You can see under here, you're able to add a new file where that previous file was and just simply resubmit that challenge. This challenge is now in review and I've also uploaded another observation in the botany badge to replace that swan. And if both of those go through, then that means I've officially earned my botany badge. So let's log off and come back in a few days. I hope I've earned my botany badge. Let's log in. <gasps> Congratulations, you earned your botany badge. And look, my first ever virtual badge. Under my badges page, I can see where the virtual badge has gone and that the wildflower badge is still available to work on. This pop-up will appear once everything's been approved for your badge and is the way to get your physical one by completing that survey. And the pop-up will go away once you exit out of it. If you have any questions these first few weeks, this Q&A page will be here. There's a direct link right on your dashboard, but also under that Q&A tab. And we've included the most common questions that we think you may have, as well as some graphics like the 2021 badge calendar that might also be useful. But thank you all for joining me and learning a little bit more about navigating the new Eco Explorer website. I hope this gets you all inspired. Keep exploring. Bye, y'all.